so the problem is that we have an input image and we have a filter we convolve the filter on top of the input image and get the output image and the dimension of input image is equal to the dimension of output image okay and I, I'm sure if you don't know what the convolution operation is you should look it up okay and we'll be seeing how to formulate a CUDA kernel to solve the convolution 2d convolution case now this is a naive implementation of the CUDA kernel where every pixel in the output image space is mapped to a single thread and the input image is um, broken down into blocks and the blocks are broken down into threads okay now um, this is like the current thread is maps to which row and column in the output image this is that computation and for this pixel let's say we are at this pixel we position the filter like this and uh, like multiply the easy simple naive kernel but the problem here is memory bandwidth this is the problem so the number the ratio of floating point of arithmetic operations to the global memory access is 0.25 op per byte uh, and the calculation for this is like for every thread we have the number of floating point operations we have is given by this loop which is 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 1 times 2 right like one operation is this one operation is this and we do this 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 1 times this is the number of operations the number of global memory accesses we have is uh, 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 1 times 1 2 this is the number of global memory accesses we have and each uh, global memory access is of 4 bytes because we are dealing with a floating point integer here floating point number here so this is like 0 0.25 Ops, ops per byte okay now th this is this is not a good ratio we ideally want this ratio to be as high as possible so the way we uh, achieve this is with an improved kernel where um, let's say this is the output image this is the input image there's a filter okay um, so rather than every thread in the output image mapping to a single uh, pixel in the output image we uh, do a thread organization and block organization such that the output image is mapped to blocks and the input image is mapped to threads hmm. so what I mean by this is let's say we are at this block okay this block now the thre the pixels within this block use these pixels in the input image space right this so we break down our algorithm into two steps first is load input pixels into shared memory and the second is use shared memory or like load values from shared memory and compute output values used now each thread and the number of threads within this block is not is not equal to 4 cross 4 that is is not equal to output tile dimensions it is actually equal to input tile dimensions square okay so each thread this block maps to this region in the input image space and this the thread 0 comma 0 is responsible for loading shared this value of input memory into shared memory thread 0 comma 1 this thread 0 comma 2 this thread 1 comma 0 this and so on 
okay now once the input tile dimension square number of threads uh, load all the values into shared memory once this loading has been done we use this is the first part of the algorithm once this is done we move on to the second part of the algorithm where although we see that all of these threads we have all of these threads but only these threads are actually responsible for uh, the computation of output pixel so this thread would compute the value for this output pixel this thread would compute the value for this output pixel okay so in the second phase of the algorithm we make sure that all of these boundary pixels are ignored okay right now that we have discussed the algorithm let's move on to the code this row and column what is this this row and column is the row and column covered by the current thread in input image okay so we said that threads map to input image right so this row and column is like this maybe for this thread this is this this row column for this thread it is this row and column and so on once this is done we move on to the first phase of the algorithm where we load values to the shared memory and uh, this is for halo cells so by halo cells cells i mean like uh, let's say we are at in this block and in this block these threads would be loaded so all of these input pixels will be loaded so all of these values are halo pixels called halo pixel and we just load zero for these values okay cool so this is what we're doing in here first part of the algorithm is done sync threads to make sure that all the input pixels are loaded uh, well into the shared memory now this is uh, these two values represent uh, the starting index in shared memory that this thread corresponds to so for example for this thread uh, tile row is equal to zero tile column is equal to zero according to this formula so this thread would work in um, work on data in the shared memory from pixel 0 comma 0 in the shared memory so this is the shared memory right so this thread works on data in the region 0 comma 0 from 0 comma 0 to uh, 5 comma 5 so like 1 2 3 4 5 one two three four five three four five yeah so this pixel works on all of these values which is how it should be right okay and um this according to this condition we deactivate the threads on the boundary like we deactivate these threads because we do not want these threads to do any computation in the output uh, image space Cool, and this is just the uh, simple loop to aggregate the um, two times f plus one comma two f times f plus one. That is the filter size. So we just do do the regular convolution of the filter on top of the uh, input image, the relevant input image space that has been loaded into the shared memory already. Okay, and the advantage of this approach is the arithmetic to global memory access ratio. So we see that the number of arithmetic operations is um, since like this was the input tile dimension and this was the output tile dimension. Since only these threads within the input image space do any uh, computation. So the uh, these are the number of threads in. So let's see the number of arithmetic operations in one block by the number of global memory accesses in one block. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is the 
uh, output tile dimension is the uh, all of are all of these threads output tile dimension square and for each thread it does two times filter radius plus one square number of computations uh, into two like one multiplication and one addition and this is the number of filter um, pixels in the filter okay and the number of memory accesses is out out like this is the input tiles input dimension square into four is the number of bytes per floating point number yeah that's it uh, let me know if you have any questions